how could I not be jealous? Like all these girls around you at college are so beautiful and, you know, you're hanging out with them and they're just stunning people. Mm -hmm. And how could I not be jealous if I'm not there? You know, like genuinely asking, like, I, I actually don't know how mm -hmm. to not. And I know that you also mentioned that jealousy was an issue early on in your relationship with Christian, especially with social media. Mm -hmm. How did you guys get over those trust, trust issues? And it's, is it ever something that you're still working on? Yeah, so I will say um, we really worked through that whenever we were early dating because I have been in relationships in the past where I was just jealous and that's just how it was. And honestly, it was kind of like the, the same idea of, well, everybody has social media. I was like, well, every, every girl's jealous, right? Every girl. And it's so easy to um, just adapt to that. Well, everybody feels this way, so I'm just going to feel this way too. But actually, when we look at it, we're like, but do we actually want to feel this way? No, this is a terrible way to live. This is not fun, you know? And so I was jealous in all these other relationships. And I kind of took that same mentality into my relationship with Christian. And um, Christian wasn't having it. He's like, hey, like, why are you acting like that? Like, that's just weird. Like, you have no reason to be jealous. You have no reason to um, feel like anything, you know? And so one day I literally had a conversation with him and just asked, like, how could I not be jealous? Like all these girls around you at college are so beautiful and you know, you're hanging out with them and they're just stunning people. And how could I not be jealous if I'm not there? You know, like genuinely asking, like I, I actually don't know how to not. And he gave me this beautiful word and he said, Sadie, it's not that other people aren't attractive. Like you're right, you're, you're right. Other people are attractive and they're doing great things and that's awesome. He said, but there's a difference between someone being attractive and that's just a fact and then being captivated by someone. Mm -hmm. And he said, I'm so captivated by you, which means you hold my full attention. So no matter what anyone else is doing, it's not that I get distracted because I'm captivated by you. And I thought that was such a beautiful point. And it meant so much to me that Christian said that and gave me a lot of peace. But then I think what I had to do is kind of take that in my relationship with the Lord mm -hmm. and say, okay, God, um, I'm captivated by you. Mm -hmm. And when I'm captivated by him and I know who he is in return, and in a sense, that really makes me confident in who I am. Mm -hmm. And I don't have to be jealous of all the other people around me that are doing great things. And I have to say, um, you know, you asked me if it's still a struggle and I can genuinely and proudly say it's really not anymore. I, I can't even tell you the last time I felt super jealous of someone. And, and when I did, I remember, I actually do remember one time, a, it was like two years ago and I told Christian, I said, hey, I just wanna let you know, I'm kind of jealous of her, but can we pray for her and just like bless her? And I know that sounds funny, but it was so cool because I was like, I don't want to feel that way. And so we literally prayed for this girl's life. And I was just like, God, like do incredible things in her life. Like keep doing awesome things. Thank you for how you made her and what she's doing. And I think it's just like so powerful to like speak out your like truth over sometimes your feelings. Cause sometimes I think we um, just submit to those feelings that, oh, we're jealous. And that's just how it's going to be. So now I'm, now I'm mad at her, now I hate her. Right. Instead of saying, oh, I'm jealous, but I don't want to feel like this way. So I'm going to pray for her and I'm going to pray that God God blesses her and when you do that all of a sudden you're not jealous anymore because you're like oh she's my sister and mm -hmm. um yeah I've seen that become a really cool thing in my life you said you know you've been through dark times and you know postpartum life can be a dark time too at, at certain moments how is this journey for you so far yeah postpartum was rough for sure mm -hmm. I mean I have to say like it's so crazy because it's such a dream like you're so happy because you have this perfect miracle and like she's amazing but then it's also like so hard and emotional because your whole life is just like whoa and your body hurts and like you're trying to adapt to being a new mom and um yeah, I mean, it, it's wild. It's every emotion. It's like the highest of highs and the lowest of lows in one season of your life. Um, and that's basically the best way to describe it, the highest of high and the lowest of low. Um, but I will say like through that, it's kind of the same as like Dance with the Stars. I have to say it's the postpartum moms. It might feel like really hard because it is really hard and it might feel like mentally you're gonna break and you might you know you might have some breakdowns you might cry all the tears and have all the feelings i had like major anxiety um that came out of kind of nowhere right after i had her and that's hard to work through but at the same time um even just eight months out now i am 
a whole new person because of it. I mean, I've never felt more strong or confident um, in who I am and in my life. And Christian and I have never felt closer as a couple just because we went through the most vulnerable time ever together because it's just all you, you know, the most raw version of you. And so, um, yeah, it's hard and it's a struggle, but it does make you a whole bit, like so much better of a person. I think it makes you the mom that you're going to be. And so um, don't be discouraged if you feel like I'm losing my mind because mm -hmm. you probably will feel like that, but you're going to come out and you're going to be like, wow, I'm so much stronger. Yeah, no, that's so true. And you know, you mentioned a lot of couples go through some marriage struggles in the beginning too. And you, you know, you said you guys are closer than ever, but did you feel that strain on your marriage maybe early on? Because you know, so much of your time is devoted to honey and you know, sometimes the husbands get a little bit of the backseat. <laughs> yeah, I think Christian and I definitely had to figure it out. I mean, we both struggled. I think what was crazy and kind of fun, not fun at the time, but fun to look back on is we were both struggling at the same time, you know? And at the time, like that's hard when you're both struggling because we both are trying to figure this out. Honey had colic, so she literally cried all the time. Um, and there was just nothing we could do about it. And so we both felt like we were gonna absolutely lose our mind half the time. And like, that's hard. And there were certainly days where, you know, it's hard not to get frustrated at each other or whatever. And, you know, but I will say like, it did kind of help realizing that we're both struggling. Like we're literally in this together, like, I'm about to lose my mind, you're about to lose your mind. Like, okay, we're a team here, you know, like let's be in this together. And uh, Christian was a great, great teammate. And yeah, we definitely had our stumbles and our moments where we were like, what the heck is happening? But um, no, those moments really do definitely make you stronger.